Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So if you are into Python, so you probably know about the pandas package. So uh, so recently there's also another package called uh, Polos. It's written, written in Rust. So today I wanted to do a quicker uh, comparison between the two package. Uh, I also want to do another popular package called uh, um, data table in R, so which is also used widely in data analysis field. So you can see them uh, side by side comparison. Okay, let's get uh, started. It's uh, a simple benchmarking, but uh, kind of simplest. So uh, the task is to read a CSV file. <coughs> in this, this case, it's uh, called a uh, crime data from Chicago Police Department. So it's uh, updated daily. So this file I downloaded a few days ago. The size is 1.7 gigabytes. So, uh, so then I simply do the same thing with a different package. So the basically we're the program will read in the CSV file, and uh, then it will, uh, like uh, basically look at uh, the number of rows by different year. So you think think of it as a group by year, and then calculate the size. So I will show you, uh, the the source code for them each. So this is pandas. So you will import the pandas and then use the function read the CS read C dash underscore CSV and the, the the path to the file. So and then you will just simply print it out the result. So this is pandas. So the for the polos, if you are not familiar Layer with it, it's in Rust programming language, so it can it mimic the pandas API. So you will feel it's very similar. So in here, it imports the polos as PL, and then similarly to uh, pandas, it's readers underscore CSV the file path name, and then print out the final result. And uh, here is in R. So mm, I first import the library dplyr and uh, define the file path name. So there are two methods. One is uh, use the package data.table. So use data.table. The function for read, uh, reading CSV is called fiead. So uh, it, you will need to simply provide uh, the CSV file name. And then I give it another option to turn off the show progress. So usually it can automatically show you the progress bar. But uh, in this case, to, to be fair, so I turned it off. You, you may also use another library called uh, read R, but I tried it. It's so slower than the other table, so I will not show it here. But if you are interested, please try it. So, and the last step is also simply do the uh, group by and the summarization and the print out the results. All right, so so let's uh, let's uh, start our benchmarking. So simply let's do the pandas first. Time. Python test pandas will try it and uh, mm, we will also do just to split them together time Python this is the polos And uh, here we can do a uh, R script um, test R 
uh, so we will do it individually and uh, and compare the results side by side. Okay, I just uh, kicked off the pandas. It may take a while since uh, it's a uh, 1.6 gigabytes file. Okay, so the results uh, turned out to be uh, 15 seconds. Okay, let's uh, run the polos. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, my bad. I need uh, to uh, start the virtual environment and uh, and do it again. All right. Yeah, it uh, seems it's uh, one point eight seconds. Okay, let's finally run the R script. So we can also do a quick check of the results. So for Polos 2017, it's 26. Uh, nine, oh, 2017, yeah, they're basically the same. Okay. I uh, also returned the results. It's uh, 17 seconds. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's very quick uh, comparison. So, I think it's turned out turned out to be uh, the winner is uh, Polos, and the second place is uh, Pandas, and third place is uh, mm, the R. So. The performance by the Polos is really impressive. I think it's about uh, uh, like eight times quicker than Pandas and the R. So I want to emphasize that the reason that Polos is so fast is because it's multi-thread. So it utilizes all the cores of the, the CPU. So it's, uh, if you basically if you get more cores, then performs better. So I think it depends on your hardware. Uh, so so give it a test, but uh, you need to be aware of the hardware requirements. So yeah, so so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.